where's everybody moving in and around Dallas, Texas? There's a trend, and it's alarming to some, that Dallas County is a very large exporter of people, meaning people are leaving Dallas County. Now, most of them, many of them are not going far, but where are they going? Now, the question of why is not something we're gonna get into on this video. Check out the rest of our channel. We've got tons of videos on communities and cities in each of these counties and why people do and don't move there and all those things. So check those out. But today we're talking about when people are leaving Dallas County, which obviously includes the city of Dallas, where are they going? And the number one spot they go is north to Collin County. 100,000 people. Most recent data we can get our hands on in the year previous to that data being published, which is probably a year ago. Uh, 100,000 people left Dallas County for Collin County, leaving cities like Dallas, um, the southern part of Richardson, uh, areas like that, and moving to cities like Plano, Collin, McKinney, Frisco, uh, I'm sorry, Plano, Allen, McKinney, Frisco, and other cities in the, uh, in the county. Really, really interesting. Because when you hear about Dallas all over the world, all over the country, you know, you probably find yourself in an airport in California. Somebody says, where are you from? You probably say Dallas, even though it might be, you know, McKinney, Frisco, Plano, something like that. Well, the drawing line here on counties tells a very different story that more and more people are leaving uh, Dallas County and heading to Collin County than just about any other place, really than any other place, period. Now, also quite a few folks moving to Denton County. Now, this is where we start to see the trend that people are moving out. And we here in the real estate business, I'm a real estate broker here in um, Dallas and Fort Worth, have seen this trend and really started to predict it right when COVID hit in uh, early, late first quarter, early second quarter, 2020. The people were moving out away from uh, job locations, working virtually, moving out onto more land, moving out to larger homes. And obviously we see the cost of housing forcing people out or, or enticing people to move out and get a little bit more for their money. So Denton County, about 62,000 people leaving Dallas County for Denton County in that previous year. Now, Tarrant County, uh, about 40,000 people leaving Dallas County for Tarrant County. And that, may, that may be to move to Fort Worth or surrounding areas. I've seen massive explosions in communities like Alito and Benbrook and other places out there. But we're really talking county to county here, just thinking big, broad regions and areas. And again, Dallas County losing people north, northwest. Now we're talking west. And then you definitely see some move east as well. You got Kaufman County. Dallas has sent 22,000 people out there. Ellis County, 20,000. And then Rockwall County, 15,000. Now, it's hard to rank these things because some of these counties are bigger. They're more populated. They have more homes. So it's not so, this video anyway, is not so much about why, but about where. And really, from Dallas County, people are moving out. They're moving out to those surrounding counties. I think the obvious trend you can see here is people getting out of the bigger city of Dallas. Again, there's lots of cities in Dallas County, but out of those bigger cities that are tied to the hub of the major metropolitan busy traffic, lots going on, out into more spread out, smaller towns, larger properties, larger lots, maybe even big land. And that's a trend we predicted coming, and this isn't about me, but it's a trend that people saw coming a little bit when the world shifted for COVID. It's not about COVID again, but it's about people finally doing what I think they've always wanted to do and not be in a lot of these people. Obviously, a lot of people stayed, but the people that are leaving wanting to get out into communities with more space, more property. You know, we, we talked for years now about, you know, I don't want a gym membership and a storage unit and a community pool access. I want all that at home. Not everybody wants that, but a lot of people, and we're seeing that in these trends of people moving out of Dallas to Collin and Denton and Kaufman and Ellis and Rockwall um, and beyond. So a really, really interesting trend that we're seeing, you know, massively more people moving out of than into. Certainly when we look locally, city to city, county to county, a lot of people leaving Dallas County. And again, I don't know that that's really anything negative about Dallas County other than I think a lot of people are no longer having to live near their job. 
A lot of people are trying to get more money for their house or find a house that fits their budget. Um, it, it may be other reasons, but again, not so much about the reasons, more about the trend. As a real estate brokerage here in the area, we're seeing this for sure. People saying, look, I've got X amount of budget. Where can I get the most house? Or I don't, I don't need to be near my office anymore. I only go in one day a week or two days a week, or I don't go in at all anymore. And we want some more space for the kids, or we want to be near a different school district, or we want to be closer to the lake, or we want some room for some animals, or whatever the case is. And we are seeing personally in our business, that trend is significant. And there are some little pockets of opportunity where the dollar goes further, or that lifestyle can be lived a little bit more um, consistently. So if that's interesting to you, if you have more questions, let us know in the comments. We'll answer them there. We'll talk to you one-on-one -on -one offline. You can always go to our website, toddtremonteteam.com, and we'll talk to you on the next video.